past 12 months. Most of us who are giving up on East African Post Rally, I will not lie to you. But you've given us a chance, a hope, that these kind of things can be better. And I want to assure you of my personal commitment to turn this company around. <laughs> uh, East African Post Rally Cement will not fall and it will not fail. <laughs> and if it does, it's not under my watch and not under Kenya Kwanza government. Maybe after. And because it has survived very terrible times, there's no reason for it to fail now. Having said that, let me say that uh, I've, I've discussed with very, very solvable issues. Issues of working capital. And I'm delighted that uh, at least from the banking perspective, East African Port Transitment is now debt free from a banking perspective. Even for normal companies which are not capital intensive, that's a remarkable feat. I think you need to be congratulated and I want to congratulate you and, and encourage you that you are really, really on the right path and you're in the right direction. And because you've helped yourself, I will do what I need to do as cabinet secretary, I will do what we need to do as government, and the president is fully committed to ensuring that because East African Portland Cement is a beacon in manufacturing. As a matter of fact, one of the few manufacturing counters are the Nairobi Securities Exchange. So we have got only three options. Either we succeed, or we succeed, or we succeed. <laughs> I will uh, also uh, have talked to a lot of our partners, some of them within, who fall within my ministry. So we will create synergies between East African Portland and other state corporations, starting with those state corporations which fall within my ministry. So if you fall within my ministry, supporting East African Portland is not a request. It has to be done. <laughs> and also, uh, we have a dream. We've discussed with the chairman, with the CEO, that uh, we have a huge problem of... Uh, I just came from another event when we were talking about flights. We can't export our flowers. We can't export our avocados. We can't export our vegetables because we don't have enough flights for cargo from this country. And we want to discuss, we are discussing with a number of partners to use the idle land we have within East African Postal Cement to develop Kenyan's first exclusive cargo airport, right here, it will be done. <laughs> because last week we had a meeting, and I, I asked Oliver to choose one thing. We use the land profitably, we use the land productively, we use the land to help ourselves, or you allow me to transfer you to the Ministry of Lands. <laughs> and he called me two days later and he told me he has chosen to be in my ministry, meaning that he's not going to be East African Postal is not going to be a center for land transactions. East African Postal will be the best cement factory, the best cement company, and also the best cargo hub in East and Central Africa. Other, other government departments, as you know, uh, there's nothing that comes on top of uh, President William Ruto's priority more than our affordable housing project. So we'll be back here. And I'll be back with uh, Zachary uh, Jerome Mwangi, my colleague for uh, in charge of housing. I'll be back here with uh, uh, Mr. Hinga, Charles Hinga, our PS for housing, to convince them, to persuade them that indeed East African Postal Cement can be the partner of choice for the affordable housing uh, program. <laughs> also, we have to maximize on what we have. Because I think I have never seen rich people who are so broke like East African Postal Cement. And they're very rich, but very broke. And something has to be done. Extremely asset rich, a lot of land, but we have to leverage on the assets we have to stop becoming broke. Oliver, I want to say to you, being broke is a choice. You have taken a strategic choice to be broke. 
and I will save you from being broke. I will not allow you to go that direction, don't you? Know? Yeah? I will not allow you to go that direction of being broke when you are so rich. Because that is like laughing at people who are broke, like MC Jesse, <laughs> and they have no option. At least you have an option. So do not go that direction. Our latest innovation for block laying, plastering, general construction work, which has been innovated. And among the, the benefits we get from this product is actually to reduce the carbon emission in line with the commitment to reduce global warming by using less energy in manufacturing. It also provides affordable solutions to the construction sector as enshrined in the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto of Affordable Housing. Green Triangle Cement will be retailing at a price of 550 shillings. This is the most affordable product today in the Kenyan market. And therefore, we are actually living to the aspirations of our leaders of providing Kenyans with affordable, affordable products that will lead them to be home owners. Honorable CS, Kenyans Foundation stand on Blue Triangle Cement. This company was started in 1933. And for the last 89 years, East Africa Portland Cement has withered the test of time and the storms of different economic conditions to be what it is today. And I discussed with you. Uh, and thanks a lot, Abana Waziri, for the little contacts, for the many contacts you've just given me in a few minutes on how to get capital for our business. And uh, staff indebtedness, which we've already shared with you, the company is indebted to staff that were laid off years ago, and they've got court cases, and all this mounted to 1.4 billion and you've already also advised on this matter. Sales and marketing through our market generation pillar, the company has embarked on marketing and advertising. And thanks again, Waziri. In this few minutes we've interacted, you've got a strategic plan that looks as taking East Africa Portland to regions beyond the borders and being a leader in cement, innovative products, and, and solutions in East and Central Africa. We are looking at, so today uh, we are even better, and we are looking at our better customer uh, satisfaction by introducing a new brand, the Green uh, Triangle Cement. Among the things that we are focused on is actually the truck turnaround. Our distributors today will bear witness with me that when your truck comes to East Africa Portland Cement, you don't spend more than an hour in our parking plant. You come in, drive in after one hour or less, you've gotten your product and you go. And it's because we realize that our distributors and our customers have got many uses for their trucks. They want to go carry sand, they want to go carry metal bars, they want to carry stones, they want to carry cement. And